everyone. Welcome to Titans Tube. I'm Amy. This is Caleb. Welcome to our week 10 NFL picks episode. Um, so before we can move forward into week 10, make our picks for the week, we got to just take a quick look back at week nine, see how we did and move on from there. How okay. do you feel about your week nine picks? Um, not very good. Okay. And I kind of middle of the road here. So, um, yeah. Just in general, you've been struggling this season. Okay, so... Started off strong, and then it's just been downhill <laughs> from there. So, last week, week nine, Caleb, um, you kept it above 500. Your record was seven and six. Okay, so, okay. I'll yes. Um, mine was ten and three. So, oh. yeah, you've got a ways to go to catch up to the GOAT, but it's okay. What, what's the all-time records? Overall records, you are at 40 and 34, and I am at 49 and 25. So. Okay. We're so, still in the same decade. We're still yeah. in the 40s when it comes to wins. I got plenty of time to catch up and make make amends here <laughs> yes. to my record. So yes. let's do week 10. Let's do week 10. So since I had the better record, that means I get to lead this episode, right? So let's Every do Every week, it. week in and week out. Let's dive in. So obviously this episode is coming out after the Thursday night game. It has already been played. Um, we did, though, if you want to believe us, we did pick verbally with each other no nah, we're gonna skip that started. no we're not doing that you just want to skip it because it's another l for you but anyway it doesn't count this week we're not doing the thursday night game okay no thursday night game this week so we'll start with our germany game the nfl making its debut in munich with the seattle seahawks and the tampa bay buccaneers caleb surprisingly a surprisingly good matchup here as tom has gotten back on his train of being decent maybe beat the rams at the last second last week i think it'll get them started here but the seahawks have a wrong with gino um so i kind of go i like them i like the seahawks here you like the seahawks I here like the seahawks bucks are here. a 2.5 point favorite 2.5 point favorite 2.5 point and gonna i'm gonna go with the bucks here i picked against them last week and they finally that's all tom needed to like that fire under his butt they got the win so i think he's gonna carry that momentum i think that win was huge for them bucks for me all right, next up, we have the 7-1 Vikings traveling to Buffalo to take on the 6-2 Bills. Ooh. So many questions here. Main one being, will Josh Allen start or are we going to see Case Keenum? Um, we don't know at this point. Um, you know, and that makes this game really hard to pick because a Case Keenum-led Bills is very different than a Josh Allen-led Bills. But I'm going to go with the Bills here. I think they're going to pull it out no matter who starts. Hopefully it's Josh Allen, but... We'll see. We'll have to just wait it out and see. I don't know. I think they're starting to get a blueprint out there now for teams to be able to beat the Bills. Thank you, New York Jets. I think the Vikings are pretty good. They're rolling. They're a hot team. Kirk Thuggins is the new, you know, face of the NFL. He's got all that bling, wow. all that ice. And you know what? The drip is in the details. So I think the details are going to win here. Vikings over Bills. All right. Interesting pick. Okay. Next up, we have the Lions coming off that hot win against the Packers traveling so to hot. Chicago to take on the Bears, who, although they're only three and six, I do feel like they've been having a better last few games um, than they started. I'm going to take the Bears here. I really like what Justin Fields has been putting out on the field. I mean, he broke the rushing record last week for single game yeah, yeah single game for a quarterback um so i feel like he's really starting to find his groove i think the bears are going to take this one yeah the bears have gotten hot ever since we watched them on monday night for the first time and we we're like hey we finally get to watch justin fields he was all right he was all right he was all right but then yeah. since then they have like kind of taken off and we've seen them a few times and yeah mm -hmm. he's been turning it on here and yeah with them at home i just don't think the lions are a good enough team right now to pull that win off so i'm going bears as well nice Next up, we have the three and five Jags traveling to Kansas City to take on those Kansas City Chiefs. Caleb? Chiefs. Same. Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Next up, we have the Cleveland Browns taking on the Miami Dolphins. Dolphins. Is this how we're picking now? I'm just going to say it. Dolphins. Uh Okay, hold up here. Oh this my. one is intriguing oh to me my. a little bit. Okay, look, the Browns, they have a pretty good defense here, and Jacoby Brissett's all right. But the Dolphins are at home, oh and Tyreek Hill is on pace to break the yardage records in a single season. It's like a kid in the candy shop. Yes. So, yeah, I'm going Dolphins. Yes. Gotcha there. Gotcha. All right, next That would up. be a pick I make, though, right? Browns over Dolphins. Randomly. You, you like but to, I did. I you did. You like to shit on the I'm Browns. I'm picking so. Miami over Browns, over Cleveland. Yes, yes. Mark Next up, down. we have AFC South taking on an NFC East team. The Houston Texans traveling to New York to take on the Giants. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nice. Our division is so bad. I feel like any team our division easy, plays is easy. like the the echelon, the upper echelon of our division is the best team in the yeah. NFL. Yeah, no, I'm not talking so about us. Makes, I'm oh. talking about everyone else okay. in the division. I'm yeah. just saying we raised the bar of our division so high. Yeah, because that makes we're everyone so else look good. so bad. Yeah, we're so good it makes everyone else look so good. Uh, yes, I was saying it's gonna make our mean, you know, goodness be higher. Wow. Okay. Math word yeah, you there. Are not Math word. Me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have the New Orleans Saints traveling to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers. Who I'm gonna need like a second to think about this one, so I'm gonna make you answer. I this think one this first. is the game that we definitely skip every week. You know, there's one game where it's like I don't want to pick this. I don't want to watch it. It sounds like a horrible game, horrible matchup. Uh, that's this one, Saints and Steelers. I'm gonna go with the Steelers here at home, though. Yeah. Kenny, pick it. I mean, come off a bye. Come on, got got. Rid of Chase Claypool, kind of starting fresh. They need to figure out something uh, in the run game, though. I don't know if they're starting fresh. I feel like they're just, like, collapsing. So I'm going to go with the Saints here. And what are the Saints doing? They're in an utter free fall right yeah, now. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the Saints are doing either, <laughs> but I'm going to pick the Saints. Okay, next up, we have the Indianapolis Colts. New head coach, or interim coach, I guess. Traveling to Las Vegas to take on a 2-6 and six Raiders team. How's Jeff Saturday going to do in his first game as a coach? Well, ever. Ever. He should change his name because he's going to be coaching on Sundays now. And I don't think Saturday is going to do so hot on Sunday. But I hate the Raiders right now. Good God, what's wrong with them? So I hate picking them, but I'm going to have to here. Somehow the Raiders are going to get a win. Just don't let them get ahead by 17 plus points. Yeah, I agree. I think the Raiders are going to get the win out here too. I think Jeff Saturday is going to have a... Smack in the face, welcome to coaching in the NFL from the Raiders. I hope so. He needs it. Next up, we have the Dallas Cowboys traveling to Lambeau to take on the Aaron Rodgers-led Packers, who just lost to the Lions last season. I mean, last week. Last... And I remember us saying we both picked the Packers, and we were like, if they lose to the Lions, I mean, shit's going to hit the fan. Well, it happened. They lost to the Lions. They're not going to win against the Cowboys. The Packers have a real rough stretch here, especially next week. And like they're, I think they're about to be on a losing streak starting or continuing, I guess. Yeah, what loss. do they play? The Cowboys the... and then the Titans and then the Eagles. Yeah. And they couldn't even beat the Lions here. I'm sure a lot of people had this game circled at the beginning of the season as being like a game of the week or even like one of the games of the year potential. But you know what? And I used to, you know, last week I we had faith in the Packers because I still kind of had faith in Aaron Rodgers, but yeah. he played like absolute shit. Two the TDs Lions. in the, I mean, two interceptions in the red zone. So yeah. now that he's joined the bandwagon of just playing horrible for the Packers, they're going to get absolutely blown out by the Cowboys and then also probably on Thursday night football. Yeah, Micah Parsons is going to give him a hard time, I think. All right, next up, we have the Arizona Cardinals traveling to L.A. to take on the Rams. Some questions here, too. Is Matthew Stafford going to play? Concussion, He's concussion protocol. protocol. If he doesn't, John Walford's going to be making the start, which he only has one regular season start and win. It was against the Arizona Cardinals in 2020. So nice. is that going to happen again? Was he a Brown? Oh, I don't know what team he oh, played dang. for. Oh, I was do, trying to guess. Didn't do I that much research. <laughs> Come on, Ames. You gotta, you gotta be the stat person here. Didn't do that much research. But... Um, I am actually gonna go with Cardinals here. I think that Call of Duty has been out long enough for Kyler Murray to get his mm -hmm. fill, and I think the Rams are, yeah, one, the question mark with Stafford, two, the question mark with the entire team. What is happening to the Rams last now, right now? They lost to their nemesis, the Bucks, last week on that. Their offense can do nothing. Yeah, so I'm going to go with the Cardinals. At least they got Kyler Murray. Yeah. DeAndre Hopp. I mean, the Rams have Cooper Cup, but, like, I don't know. I don't know what's been going on with their offense there. I'm going to take the Cardinals here as well. I think they're going to pull the win out in L.A. Sunday like night football, we have the San... Whoa. We Whoa. have the <laughs> L.A. Chargers. Still takes a while to get used to that one. And L.A. Chargers traveling up to San Francisco, so just up the coast, to take on the 49ers. Caleb, what do you think? This game was flexed into yeah. Sunday night. Yeah. Um, so it's the first week that's happening. So be prepared for lots of Titans games on Sunday night now, guys. I'm pumped because they're all going to get flexed in the Sunday night. <laughs> uh, anyways, Chargers 49ers, an intriguing game. I definitely think the 49ers are the better team, but it's a division game, and that division plays each other very wackily. Is it a division game? Is it a division it game? It is not Can a I division game. You did. Guys, I gotta I gotta freshen up my NFL. <laughs> They're not here. even in the same conference. 
You're right. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know what I was thinking there. I'm blanking. I'm blanking. Anyways, I'm going 49ers. But okay. I want Justin Herbert to throw like seven touchdowns because he's on my fantasy team. But you know, they're gonna lose. I do think this is going to be a really good game. And I'm going to take the Chargers here. They, I know they have not really been playing as well as everyone expected so far this season. But I mean, they are five and three. They are finding ways to win. So I'm going to pick the Chargers here against the, that 49ers team. Go for it. You pick Monday the night. Maybe this is what you were looking at. Because Monday night, we do yeah. have a division matchup. The world's favorite, NFC East. The Washington Commanders taking on the Philadelphia Eagles in Philly. Still 8-0. They're going to be 9-0. Um, Taylor Heineke, it was cute and fun to watch you win a few games in a row, but it ends here. I would love to pick the Commanders here. If it was, <laughs> it was, if it was in Washington, I think I would get, give them the oh swing here. They've been playing people tough. Taylor Heineke is getting that team close to winning each week. They've and been they winning. almost beat the Vikings. I know. Yeah. But they didn't beat the Vikings, so they're actually on a losing streak yeah. right now. And I think it's going to continue. I can't pick against the Eagles here. So, Eagles, fly. Fly. Eagles, fly. 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 All right. Fly, Eagles. And lastly, we have our game of the week. One everyone has been waiting for when the king will arrive. Two-tone blue, baby. The Denver Broncos are traveling to Nashville, Tennessee to take on... Yours truly, the Tennessee Titans. Why we are all here. The reason we exist on this earth. Caleb. Titans football. Who do you that have in this the reason. game? This is going to be an interesting matchup. Titans are down. We're finally getting our offensive players back. But now our defensive players are completely decimated. Going into this game without uh, Jeffrey Simmons, Bud Dupree, Zach Cunningham. Um, Pierre Tart was sick this week. Like, it can be, it can be brutal. But uh, you know what? I think we're prepared to eat Russ's food. No matter how bad it tastes. Oh, I hear you. I hear yeah, you. and we still have the king. Everyone knows it. Feed him the ball. Titans are going to get it done at home. Difference between our team and everyone else? We have Derrick Henry. Yeah, Titans are going to pull this one out. It might be ugly. It might get ugly, like you said, with all we those... We love ugly wins. With all those defensive injuries that we have. It might be ugly, but like you said, hey, we love ugly wins. But we're wins. probably getting Tannehill back. Probably getting Traylon Burks back. So maybe the offense can like yes, the offense be is, the one that carries. It's their us turn now. now to carry a few yeah. games. Yeah, I've got Titans in this game too. Excited to move up to six and three. Still sitting high on top of that AFC South. Let's get it. Let's take care of business, boys. All right, you can get out of that. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks. Those were our Week Ten picks for the NFL. Happy watching, and we will see you next week.